Hi everybody. I would like to welcome you to the introduction video of View Designer, which enables design of insight application views with drag and drop features. Previously, in our Express Insight and Express Moselle short video tutorial series, we talked about the core components of FICO Express optimization, such as Express Moselle, Workbench, Optimizer, and Express Insight. We demonstrated how you can build analytical models, including optimization models, in Moselle and deploy them rapidly with the use of Express Workbench and Express Insight. In our Insight short video tutorial series, we showed how you can use video language to create editable views that can contain tables, fields, charts, etc. To make the development process even more seamless, we are now introducing View Designer, a new add-on feature or component of Express Workbench to create similar views. In short, you can now, instead of using VDL, use drag and drop feature of View Designer to create views you would like to have in your Insight application or solution. We will soon record more tutorial videos on how to use View Designer, but to give you an idea of the features the View Designer offers, my colleague Jens will show you a breadth of what's possible. With that, I pass it to Jens to demo us the View Designer at a high level with a portfolio optimization example. With this express release in fall 2019, we're excited to introduce the View Designer, an add-on to Express Workbench that allows you to rapidly deploy your optimization model into a fully functional Express Insight application. App design becomes super easy. No coding, just drag and drop actions. And it seamlessly integrates with the code editor as it is based on our markup language VDL. You can use any version control system and for advanced coding, use JavaScript or HTML on top. In this video, I will demonstrate you how modeling experts and solution developers are able to collaborate on one platform, where changes to the model can be quickly incorporated into the user interface and published to Insight by a single click of a button, faster and easier than with any other tool. Take a look at this project about portfolio optimization. Model entities are declared such as the shares the user can invest and the estimated return on investment per share. Here the data is initialized and a mathematical model is provided that maximizes the expected return on investment given the constraints how to invest. After executing the model, the results are displayed as textual output. To deploy this model into a fully functional business application, only a few adaptations to the model are needed. Annotations for the entities to give a business context and execution notes as entry points when clicking a button in Insight. Now I will show you how easy it is to create an Insight view. For most tasks, there is a wizard that guides you through the setup. Choose a basic layout from the templates and accept the default values to accelerate your work. View Designer opens with a palette to the left, the artboard in the center, and an attributes pane to the right. On the artboard, you see a symbolic preview. The template provided a grid defined by sections, rows, and columns. You can easily adjust the grid by using the sliders on the attributes pane. You can seamlessly switch between View Designer and the code editor that shows the underlying VDL code. On the palette, besides the layout elements, we have components to display data, such as tables, charts, and forms, and logical elements, such as repeat for loops and scenario comparison, and if and visible to display data only under certain conditions. Next, I show you how to create a table for the input data, a run button, and a chart to visualize the results. Change the heading to input data and play around with the heading level. Elements such as tables are to be placed into columns via drag and drop. Where helpful, a wizard will pop up where you can select the model entities, also expressed in business terms. Since this table contains input data, 
we can make it being editable. You can enable the user to start optimization by a click of a button. The buttons are linked to execution modes. By default, it uses the run mode shown in the tooltip. Finally, a results section is added where we will display the results via a pie chart. The new view is published to Insight. Now business users can see the input data, run the optimizer, and analyze the results. With View Designer, scenario comparisons can be easily enabled. The model has some nice features, such as restricting the investment per share. It is very easy to provide access to such parameters to a business user in Insight. Create the configuration section and add a form and a form field onto the artboard. Then select the parameter you want to provide access to. Last, we move the Run button over to the configuration section. To compare the output of different scenarios in one bar chart, first drag and drop a chart element on the artboard, select the entities, then drag and drop repeat onto the chart series. A wizard opens with examples and a link to a tutorial. The first one suits our needs. And besides tutorials, the tooltips provide guidance what to enter into the fields on the attributes pane. Publish the view to Insight and you will see it immediately works. We can select multiple scenarios and compare the results. Another feature that comes with the view designer is the view manager. Here you can create views and view groups and rearrange the views just via drag and drop. Excited to learn more? Then download Express for free on the FICO Express community license page and experience the latest enhancements.